So you've been having trouble sleeping lately, and in response your doctor suggests that you try out a sensory deprivation tank. Meant to help calm and soothe people, these metal cylinders suspend the individual inside a tank full of warm water while blocking out all light and noise from the outside world. As you feel yourself relaxing in your small cocoon of oblivion, your mind starts to wander. At first you think about your life and the world around you, as you often do when idly daydreaming. But suddenly you feel your thoughts turn to somewhere else. In your mind's eye you see a new place, a world of shadows lit up by a deep midnight bluish haze. Suddenly you realize that you're not just daydreaming about this place, you're physically there. But wait, there's something else there with you just ahead, a strange humanoid creature that seems to be eating something. Gasping in surprise, the creature spins around, and you see its head open up like a flower petal. The horror of it sends your mind reeling back into our world. Yet as you clamber out of your sensory deprivation chamber, you look up and see a rift on the wall before you. An interdimensional tear linking our world and this strange alien world full of monsters. And standing there in the rift is the creature you thought was nothing more than a bad dream. Hello and welcome to another episode of the infographic shows you versus. Today we're pitting you up against the monster from the realm of nightmares, the Demogorgon. So you've awakened latent psychic powers and accidentally tore a hole in space time, dragging through it an interdimensional horror, hell bent on feasting on your flesh. How are you going to get out of this jam? As usual, we've got your back, but first to defeat your enemy, you must know him or her or it. We're not really up to date on our interdimensional monster biology. The Demogorgon is a creature accidentally brought into our world after a series of government experiments designed to tap into the psychic abilities of young children went horribly wrong. A native of the dimension known simply as the Upside Down, we actually know very little about the Demogorgon or its home plane of existence. It's believed that the Demogorgon reproduces much in the same way as a xenomorph, by implanting larvae into living hosts. But it's just as possible that the Demogorgon reproduces by laying eggs and merely brings back living prey to be consumed by its spawn. What is known about the creature is that it's a fierce predator with an incredibly well-developed sense of smell. Compared to a shark, its olfactory powers border on what we would consider supernatural, able to detect spilled blood from miles away. Perhaps its power originates in its ability to move between dimensions though, as its senses operate in a fashion that's completely alien to us. As mentioned, the Demogorgon does have the ability to move between dimensions, though the act appears to require a huge amount of energy and may possibly temporarily weaken it. As visitors to the Upside Down have noted, its home dimension and ours seem to slightly overlap, almost like the way you can lay two sheets of paper on top of each other and see part of the bottom sheet through the top sheet. This means that general geographic features of our world are present as well in the Upside Down and sounds also carry over from our dimension to the Demogorgon's dimension. With its ability to seemingly travel between dimensions at will, it's unclear why the Demogorgon never visited our world prior to 1983, as surely it would have been aware of our existence. Perhaps the Demogorgon showed no interest until initial contact was made by accident, or perhaps the Stranger Things writing staff overlooked an interdimensional portal-sized plot hole in their scripts. The Demogorgon is not just a formidable predator with a keen sense of smell, it also has a small talent for some low-level kinetics. While you won't have to worry about dodging furniture being tossed at you from across the room, you should be aware of its ability to manipulate small objects with his mind. However, luckily for you, the Demogorgon is definitely one of the least intelligent enemies we've pitted you up against. Preferring to use brute force to navigate obstacles, its hide is comparable to that of an elephant's, making it able to shrug off most small caliber weapons fire with little effect. The Demogorgon is also extremely physically resilient even when wounded, and if given a chance it will regenerate from even catastrophic amounts of damage in a very short time. It's unknown if the Demogorgon possesses this ability naturally or if perhaps there is an unknown property about the Upside Down that works to preserve and even regenerate life. Individuals trapped in the Upside Down have been known to survive for up to a week with no food and water, and thus it may be that the Demogorgon simply returns to the Upside Down where it heals at a greatly accelerated rate due to the ambient properties of the realm. 
This is of course pure speculation, and it may simply possess incredible regenerative properties. If it is indeed able to somehow store enough energy to tear a hole between dimensions inside of its body, then it's not impossible to believe that it's also able to store enough chemical energy to kickstart a biological regenerative process. This does mean that the Demogorgon is going to need to feed immediately after regenerating huge amounts of physical damage, which is going to make it even more dangerous. So what we're saying is that if you start a fight against the Demogorgon you best finish it. A super olfactory sense, an incredibly resilient body, and the ability to regenerate. This is already a formidable foe. Yet, as our friend Billy Mays would say, but wait, there's more! The Demogorgon doesn't just have the ability to move between dimensions, it seems to be able to do so even while hunting, making it an ambush master. This means it can literally jump out at you from nowhere. So you're gonna have to keep your head on a swivel. Luckily though, the Demogorgon does display the same predatory instincts as many of Earth's hunters, and prefers to ambush prey that's unaware. So stay out of dimly lit corners and you should be fine. Also, like many ambush hunters, the Demogorgon seems hesitant to charge straight at prey that's aware of its presence. This is similar to many sharks, which will not attempt to tackle prey unless they can ambush it. So how are you going to defeat this thing? First things first, choose your battlefield, or in this case design it. As mentioned, the Demogorgon isn't particularly intelligent, and seems to operate on little more than predatory instinct. Its super smell sense gives it a huge advantage, except we're going to use it against it. You're going to want to pick a nice, well-lit location, such as a school gymnasium to make your stand in. The overhead lighting and large open space will discourage the Demogorgon from trying to use its ability to travel between dimensions and ambush you, something it only seems to want to do when it's sure it'll be able to get the drop on unwary prey. Next, get some full body length mirrors, a lot of them. We're talking at least two to three dozen. You're going to be setting these up around the room in groups of threes so that they can lean against each other and cover each other non-reflective backsides. Along the edges of each mirror, you're going to rub some of your own blood, and with so many mirrors, that's going to take a bit of bleeding on your behalf. But hey, no pain, no gain. Or in this case, no pain, you get eaten by an interdimensional monster. Luckily for you though, the Demogorgon's sense of smell is so acute that just a small amount of blood will be enough. As we mentioned, the Demogorgon is not particularly intelligent, and it's thought that its sense of smell is its primary sense with weak eyesight. The perpetual twilight nature of its home realm in the Upside Down is also a strong indication that this beast may have evolved to rely less on sight and more on its other senses to navigate the darkness, no different than many cave-dwelling species. The goal of your mirrors is going to be to throw your reflections around the room, thereby confusing its already weak sense of sight and confusing its sense of smell with all the blood you've spread around. Not being particularly intelligent, the Demogorgon should throw itself at the nearest reflection, working its way to the real you by process of elimination. Your mirror trap has bought you some time, but how do you down a creature that can take a full 30 round magazine from an M16 and keep on coming? When it comes to tackling supernatural, demonic, alien, or interdimensional threats, we here at the Infographics Show have one adage, problem solving through superior firepower. And when bad things go bump in the night, we have just the tool to bump this particular baddie right back. An experimental version of the famous Barrett 50 caliber anti-material rifle. The Barrett X XM-109 was developed at the request of the US military, which saw a need for its marksmen to defeat ever more formidable armored vehicles. In response, the Barrett company pulled out all the stops in the development of the XM-109, which was specifically made to chamber the XM-1049 25mm high explosive round. Capable of penetrating several inches of composite armor, the XM-109 can stop a lightly armored vehicle such as an infantry fighting vehicle out to a range of 1.2 miles. At a range of just a few hundred feet though, the XM109's 25mm explosive round will penetrate the Demogorgon's tough hide and then trigger the dual explosive, turning your interdimensional attacker into nothing more than a rapidly evaporating mist. You better make that first shot count though, as you won't get many more. One of the main drawbacks of the XM109 and the reason it wasn't approved for military use was the massive recoil produced by the rifle, with operators sustaining shoulder injuries after just a few shots. So whatever you do, 
don't miss. But also because the moment you get that first shot off, the Demogorgon and everything within a half mile radius is going to know exactly where you are. And once that happens, well, the best we can do is recommend some nice funeral arrangements. How would you defeat the Demogorgon? Is there such a thing as too much firepower when fighting interdimensional monsters? Let us know in the comments. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more great content.